What's up everyone, it's Ryan here from Green Tech Network. Welcome to episode two of my circuit seminar series. Today I'm going to be going over a DC to DC step down module. Uh, this is available on banggood.com for around $6. I'll put a link in the video description. Um, this is a pretty common device that every uh, electrical engineer or someone who tinkers around with electronics should have. Basically what it does is it takes a large DC voltage and will step that down to a lower DC voltage. This specific module has uh, some buttons here that allow you to um, raise or lower the output voltage. Um, this circuit is one of the few circuits that I'll be talking about that you don't actually have to solder yourself. Uh, this one does come fully soldered. Uh, the only thing you need to do is assemble the acrylic enclosure for it, which is what I'll be doing later on in this video. But first I'm going to go over a bit on how this actual device works. So if you look underneath, I don't want to pull up the screen too far, but there's one, two, three, that third integrated circuit back there, that's actually a STM8S003K3, which is a microcontroller. Uh, it's 16 megahertz. 16 megahertz 8-bit microcontroller. Um, it has 8 kilobytes of flash memory, 1 kilobyte of RAM, and 128 bytes of EEPROM. In addition to the microcontroller back there, you'll see this little guy right here is the actual um, step-down converter. So this is the MP23070N and it's a 3 amp, um, 340 kilohertz uh, step down converter. So this is what's actually doing the voltage step down, this little chip right here. It takes an input of anywhere between 4.75 volts up to 23 volts and it's around 95 percent efficient which is pretty good and it runs at uh, 3 amps continuous at um, I believe any of those voltages. So I believe that uh, the microcontroller back there is what controls the display here on the screen and also uh, controls these um, uh, voltage changing um, push buttons right here. So the way the little uh, voltage step down integrated circuit works is it has a reference voltage and based off of that reference voltage it'll scale down your input to whatever that reference voltage is. So my theory is that the microcontroller not only controls the screen and these two buttons, but it also uh, controls that um, uh, reference voltage that the step-down voltage integrated circuit receives and adjusts its output based off of that. So that's kind of my little theory on how this thing works, just a uh, just looked at it for a few minutes and looked up all the parts. I'll put a link to all of the um, data sheets in the video description along with the link to buy this like I said. But that's pretty much I believe how it works. I think it actually is held this way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take out this acrylic uh, enclosure case and put it all together and then turn it on and mess around with it a bit. All right, there we go. That was actually a little bit more uh, difficult than I thought it would be to assemble. You have to make sure that, so these screw holes in the circuit board aren't uh, exactly centered. So you have to make sure that the circuit board is properly lined up with the screw holes on the top and bottom uh, before you put it in. Basically, you put the bottom piece, hold that flat, put the circuit board in, then put up the four walls put the two red buttons on, put the top on, and then put the two screws in. So that leaves you with the ability to still press these buttons, and it also lets you access the um, input and output voltages on the 
front side of the device. And also make sure that you take off the screen cover before you fully assemble it, because I just did that and had to disassemble it and take off the screen cover and then reassemble it. That's it, it's uh, pretty solid. It holds together pretty well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run some tests on it. Now that I've assembled the DC to DC step down converter, I went ahead and hooked it up to a 12 volt power supply, which are these uh, wires you see right here. Now that I've finished the assembly for the enclosure, I went ahead and hooked up the step down converter to a 12 volt power supply. The 12 volt power supply is connected by these two wires you see here. Interestingly enough, connecting the ground to plus 12 volts and the positive voltage to ground didn't harm the device. I accidentally connected the wires incorrectly. So that's good. It definitely has some safety features built in. But I'm going to go ahead and plug the 12 volt power supply in. And you can see that initially nothing comes up on the screen, but it takes about a three or four seconds for it to, I guess, start up that little microcontroller inside. So right when you start it up, you'll see the output voltage, which is up here. And along with that, there's a battery symbol. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, and this is just the comp winners. It's just the company that makes it. It's nice that it will hold on in memory to whatever output voltage you had it saved on. So I was just messing around with it prior to starting this video and I had it set on uh, 9.38 volts, so it saves that even if it loses power. You can see that the buttons over here they tend to move it in around 0 0.04, 0 0.05 volt increments. Um, it's kind of, they're not exact, doesn't seem like, it kind of jumps around sometimes. Sometimes it's 0 0.03, sometimes it's 0 0.05, but works pretty well. It gives you a pretty accurate value, or I guess accuracy of voltage. So if you need that, you know, extra 0.03 volts for whatever your project is, it definitely can get that accuracy for you. And the nice thing is if you press and hold, then it'll scroll through very fast. So you don't have to sit there and just, you know, keep going through, pressing it a hundred times just to get to the voltage. It does seem to, it has kind of like a um, a, uh, you know, when you, when you scroll like an iPhone or a cell phone, how it continues to scroll when your finger releases it, it's kind of similar. So you press and hold, and you let go, and then it kind of just slows down to a uh, voltage near where you left off. So it's not, it's not, um, doesn't stop exactly when you let go. So I'm going to hook up a, I have a 470 ohm resistor here. Um, so I believe it's a half watt one. I'm just going to hook it up across the two terminals right here just so you can see that it does pass current through you can see the 0 .2, 0 0.02 amps there and if we raise the voltage you'll see the uh, amperage rise as it reach, goes higher and higher and then now it's starting to get a little bit hot so I'm going to take it off my fingers um, so you can see once you hit, and then also once you hit uh, 10 volts, it loses some of its accuracy, but you can still see that it takes multiple clicks to go up 0.1 voltage. So it seems to be going at around maybe a uh, quarter of a voltage per click, somewhere between a quarter and if I had to guess, maybe like a fifth. And then as we get higher and higher to the voltage of the power supply, which is 12, it starts to slow down on um, raising the voltage value. So see around here, it doesn't take that many clicks, but once we get up real high towards 12 volts, it's taking a lot of clicks just to get up that extra 0.1 volts. And then remember, this is a step down voltage, so this can't go above whatever voltage your power supply is. And it seems like it only reaches about uh, 1.1 volts away from your power supply, so it doesn't actually, it won't match the same voltage you have. So if you're using a lot of, you know, 
0 to 12 volts for your projects, you're probably going to want to go with a 15 volt power supply. Or you can just go with the you know, 23 or whatever the max is, it supports I forget off the top of my head, and just to play it safe. But overall it's a pretty um, nice little device for only a few bucks. It's definitely pretty good if you are looking for a DC power supply but you don't feel like spending a lot for you know like a high-end one you can just get one of these as long as you're doing you know relatively low current projects but just get one of these and then buy you know a 20 24 volt uh, DC power supply and just run it off of that and you'll have pretty much every every voltage you ever need for you know smaller projects for only a few dollars but that pretty much concludes the review for this DC to DC step down voltage converter. Feel free to post if you have any more questions. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.